Oh wait, I didn't. Wait, I think this is the same clothes I wore in this last video. Okay, I swear days have passed ever since that last video. So I'm just gonna put some sweatshirt on me. So hold on a second. I'll put this in the classic sweatshirt. <laughs> so, um, let, let me fix the camera. Okay, so this is much better. So, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, <sighs> so I'm actually surprised. I've still been doing this weekly upload. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope I survive. So about three days ago, uh, I went outside. Even though I'm only 13 years old, <laughs> here in my country, in the Philippines, uh, they're only uh, we're only allowed to go outside for 15 and above, and I'm not 15. We went to the Avia Mall, which is in Cavite, I think. I'm not sure about the places because I don't, I forgot. But uh, we went to Avia and uh, they had this uh, new uh, bookstore, which is called Fully Book. I, I think all of you guys probably know what Fully Book is if you live in the Philippines. But basically, it's like a bookstore. But yeah, but, but that Fully Book is actually like newly made. So. When I went there, it's only been there for like two weeks, so uh, the products that they sell there are fairly new. So uh, when I saw the, the store, I wasn't expecting to see any manga. But ever since May, May of the 1st, that I started like wanting to collect manga because I started to read my first manga, Bloom It You, which I'm planning to buy by the way. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to collect some so I went inside but I wasn't really expecting to see a manga in there because again it's a new store and we don't really see that much manga at least uh, when I wasn't paying attention in the bookstores but basically I bought my first manga which is there's two of them which is uh, <laughs> I'm so ready to be called a normie for this but <laughs> come on I bought the Demon Slayer Volume 1 and the Promised Neverland Volume 2. And this the, the reason why I bought Volume 2 is that they didn't have Volume 1 and they only had 2 and 3, which is uh, kind of uh, not, sh not really surprising because again they're a new store. So probably a lot of people already bought this even though it's in quarantine. So basically uh, we reserved the Volume 1 for uh, Promise Neverland and Volume 1 for Kaguya-sama because they also had Kaguya-sama in there but it, it's like the later volumes like uh, Volume 10 and above so uh, when I, so I haven't really opened this because I want to read the Volume 1 even though I already know what happened and <coughs> excuse me and basically I just want to tell you guys my experience about it so you guys can like buy more even though you are in this quarantine so basically, in that bookstore, right, uh, I saw uh, Komi-san can communicate and uh, Samurai 8, I was so tempted to buy Samurai 8, like the volume 1 was just there. It's looking at me. To be fair, as I said, I wasn't really planning to buy any manga. I was just planning to look at it because I could have already bought manga because I, I had money, okay? I had money. I'm saying it. I had money. And even though I... Okay, so pause for a bit. For some reason, there's someone screaming outside and I don't know why. So yeah, you're gonna be hearing that for like throughout the video. So he <laughs> I really did have the money. I really didn't want to buy it first because I was so stubborn that I really wanted Blooming to you. Like the first eight volumes to be like the, my very first manga. But then like, I just told my parents I was, gonna, I was just gonna take a look. Again, as I was saying, I told my parents I was only gonna take a look, but then my dad's like, here you go, 1,000 pesos, go get yourself some manga. And then, again, I was constraining myself, I wasn't planning anything, but when that 1,000 pesos came into my eyes, my mind just went, okay, so how many mangas can I buy? Basically, that it, I took a really long time because they also had One Punch Man, Food Wars, and Quintessential Quintuplets, and they had citrus okay so quick tangent the citrus manga actually has the cover ripped so i guess someone kind of like wanted to take a look at it it's <laughs> okay so so uh, a fun fun story uh the mangas are actually sealed as you can see 
there's plastic in it. They haven't opened this yet. All of the manga there are sealed, so you can't really open them like this. This one is already open because I already read it. And by the way, if you want to look inside, I don't care if you get spoiled because I'm a masochist. Masochist. People are screaming outside. I don't know why. So yeah, uh, when you open it from the normal reading uh, pattern, they have this kind of uh, you're reading it wrong and stuff like that. Oh crap! So I dropped this. I don't know what this is, but I think it's that one thing where when you so that you don't steal manga. So when you haven't paid for it, it will beep 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 beep. So like you can steal manga. So that's it. I bought this in quarantine. So if probably quarantine is over uh, maybe you can buy a lot of mangas especially in like fully bookstores and that aren't new because the one I went to was new so if you see a book fully book maybe there's gonna be a manga and if there's a missing volume that you want to buy you can just or any titles that you want to buy you just ask the the staff or the employee so that if they have this particular volume or series and then they will just tell you like uh, yes or no and then after that if it's if it isn't in their branch like in that particular store you can just reserve it and then go back to it that's what we did for the promise neverland and kaguya-sama and yeah you can just basically buy it but you see the thing is when i said i didn't want to buy manga uh, I can't. It's it's because the fact that it's right there into me, like it's out of my reach. I mean, it's in my reach. And like to that feeling when you actually just go in the online shop and you just think properly what you want to buy. Because for me, I really wanted to buy like properly. I just don't want to buy stuff that I probably won't like. So even if I really like the series, but if I don't want to collect it, I'm just gonna like read it online and then just never buy it. But for this one, I never read these two online, so I'm planning to collect all of these and Kaguya-sama as well because I heard it's ending and I'm planning to collect Attack on Titan as well, which is very surprising because they didn't have Attack on Titan in the, the store, which is wow. <coughs> I think they only have like the newer ones, but if you ask them, they might give you. But if you're in the Philippines, again, uh, if you want to like buy online, uh, <coughs> We have shops like Shopee, Lazada, and Happy Manga Store, Ewa Manga Store. Those are like proxy services where they buy stuff in Japan or like in in US, and then they give it and then they give it to you, and then you just pay them. Like those kind of services, which is I really think it's really good. For me, I wanted to buy in Ewa Manga Store, but they did at the time they don't have uh, cash and delivery, so I couldn't buy Bloomin' Tew. But uh, I'm gonna check out different uh, proxy services uh, that does the same with AWA, AWA Manga Store. So I'm probably gonna buy the Blooming Tea volume in there. So yeah, that's basically it. You can basically just check a fully book. Maybe I think they have national, the one in the national bookstore as well. Because one of my friends actually bought an Attack on Titan manga way back when it wasn't really popping up. Like probably. Four or three years ago. I mean, it has been popping up since I think the second season was released three years ago. Why are people shouting? Basically, if you look in Nash and any bookstore, probably you'll see a manga in there. And yeah, so you can probably collect still during this quarantine and even after this quarantine. So during this Christmas or like New Year, you can ask your tita or tito to just go buy you some manga. Next week's video is probably very entertaining, at least for me in my imagination. I don't know if how I'm, I'm gonna execute it will be very good. So yeah, uh, check out the new video next week and see ya. Also, also one note, one note. You see, I have sunlight in here, but don't put your manga in the sunlight because it's gonna yellow. So if you like, if you put this, this parts will get yellow if you put them in the sunlight for too long. So if you're gonna collect some, make sure to not like, uh, like stack it with the window open so that it won't get yellow. So 
I was gonna say that if you want to buy digitally and legally, we have like Bookwalker and stuff like that that actually supports the manga industry and the creators and you can also like go to Comixology. I mean, to be fair, I haven't used any of those because I read manga in the sites. So right now I'm planning to buy the manga I read on sites. So at least even if I pirate it at first, I'm gonna like get, I'm like gonna buy the physical copy anyways. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention that if you buy manga physically in bookstores, they tend to be way cheaper than you get because if you buy it online, they're gonna like cost shipping fee and like they're gonna add more stuff to it. But if you buy it in like physically in bookstores, it will only cost you like five bucks. But for this one, the problem is that the normal volumes uh, and like those weekly kind of volumes, they tend to price, like they have the price of 480 which is uh, kind of expensive but not because in Japan, there, there's, it's only 500 yen, which is like 250 pesos or somewhere around that. But if you buy like monthly mangas, like those that release monthly, like Attack on Titan, they tend to be way uh, pricier because when I took a look at Citrus price, it was way expensive and I think that's the same way for Attack on Titan digitally, like buying it in actual online stores digitally and on the physical stores. But again, uh, like those physical bookstores actually tend to price uh, way lower than the actual digital stuff, uh, no, the, the online stuff. So yeah, that's another way. Why do I keep doing this? If you find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity